All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Husky flag flag is Warrant Officer Jeffrey Dixon, a 23-year veteran of the Canadian Forces, having served at CFP Petawa, Ontario, Canadian Forces Europe in large Germany, CFP Shiloh, Manitoba, in the last five years in Regina. His service includes six tours of duty overseas, including with the UN to Cyprus, four to the former Republic of Yugoslavia, Bosnia, and on Task Force Orion on Operation Enduring Freedom in 2006 to Afghanistan. Born and raised in Saskatoon, went to eight home and collegiate, married to his wife Julia for 17 years, and his one son William, who is 11. Get up! Ladies and gentlemen, on your feet, get ready to meet your 2011 Husky football team with Warrant Officer Jeffrey Dixon! Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, could both teams please line up on their respective 50 yard lines? Both teams line up on their respective 50 yard lines. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please bow your head as we take this time to respect, reflect, and remember all Canadians who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of Canada. May their sacrifice never be forgotten. At this time, let's pay our respects with a moment of silence. I now direct your attention to the field where Captain Scott Greenfield, an instructor pilot from 15 Wing Moose Jaw, will honor Canada with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love. Command with glowing hearts, we see the rise, the true north, strong and free from far and wide. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep. special meeting to our program. Sure. Harold Bud Reber, James McLeod, John Quinlan, Henry Richardson, and George Tooth. All right, fans, let's play some football. No, it did before when you were up there. Well, oh, Joanne is taking this one. Run it in, run it in! Oh, look at him! Yeah! Lead in charge, touchdown! Your general thoughts on your general? 
final thoughts? I mean, it's funny. First of all, I shoot the game like over again last year. Did you finish? Well, uh, first of all, I thought I thought our defense played very well all night. We we had great intensity. Uh, I was no doubt we caught uh, Alberta with a very young football team. They had a couple of linemen hurt before they got here, and uh, you know we kind of took it to them along the line of scrimmage on the defensive side of the ball all night. But uh, uh, I think our special teams were good again, other than the bad snap. Uh, we had to kick the ball better, but we certainly covered well. We got a couple big returns, so we made some big plays uh, offensively. It wasn't pretty. We got the ball down the field, but uh, I think more than anything, we got to protect the football, not turn it over that many times. Did you think at all about the fourth quarter last year when you were going to the first quarter today? Uh, no, uh, we talked a little bit about it at halftime, and really that's about the first time we mentioned it. But but we did say, uh, you know, we've been here before, and uh, you know, I, again, I don't think it was an issue. We, we had great intensity when we got out. They, they made a play and stripped the ball from Rory, but uh, that's one of those cases where we got to protect it, put it away, and uh, let the fight another day. What's your impression of the play of the quarterbacks? Well, I, again, it's it's a work in progress. Uh, you know, uh, we got to protect them better. Now, Alberta came with, uh, you know, a smaller defensive front and came at us from all over the place. So that wasn't uh, maybe the easiest front to pick up in game one, especially with some young guys. But uh, I thought our protection was decent at times. And uh, when they got us, it was kind of off the edge where we didn't get to uh, didn't get to a guy. But, uh, you know, we have to work. That's that's where we got to improve. We got we to protect better. We got to run the ball a little bit better. And, uh, and be a little bit more consistent on offense, but uh, above all, protect the football. Any updates on uh, David Rybinski? I saw he wasn't in the lineup. Yeah, uh, David just rolled his ankle last Tuesday, and uh, you know if we played Monday, he probably would have been ready. He'll be okay next week. Seamus, are you pretty impressed with his performance? Yeah, Seamus, uh, you know, we put him on halfback. Uh, he's a playmaker. Uh, we we sent the offseason. We had to have uh, we had to have Nico and Seamus on the field. We couldn't uh, couldn't be alternating them at the same position, and uh, and uh, he loves to come up and fill on the run, and uh, I think he covered pretty well and made a big play for us in the interception as well. Uh, to move back to the quarterbacks, um, you pulled Jelani. Can you make a comment about next week if Jelani will get the start again? Well, you know, I, I imagine he will. You know, he, he, didn't, uh, he didn't do a bad job for us, other than, uh, again, we put the ball on the ground a couple of times. But uh, what we wanted to make sure we got Trent some meaningful minutes tonight. For sure, because we are going to need them both, and uh, we know there's going to be some ups and downs over the course of the year. And sometimes they're going to have to come out and just settle down and uh, and take a look at things from the sidelines. But uh, you know, Jelani didn't make some plays. That's that's what he's going to do. It's uh, he's going to run around and escape and throw it downfield. What he can't do is he can't throw that one over the middle. That's that one's going to go on the track, and uh, we'll punt it away. Good. You have to see it. Oh yeah, he, he's got a great arm. Uh, we just have to again protect better and uh, get him recognizing some things. But uh, you know, they did a good job of covering us. They they hit us with uh, uh, some coverage that we maybe didn't expect or certainly hadn't worked against either. And that's what you get in game one with a new defensive coordinator. Uh, uh, we'll look at the film and uh, and be ready for that kind of stuff. We said uh, we said about three minutes into the game, we wished there were three or four things that we had in to attack that coverage, and we just hadn't got it in. Thanks, PT. All right, Luke, uh, take us through that 62-yard uh, uh, punt return for a touchdown. Uh, well, it's the same old thing. Anytime we score, it's just 12 guys working hard. I mean, that's all coaches have been preaching all week, all camp, just guys working hard, finishing their blocks, and good things happen uh, when we all do that. How big was it for you guys to uh, obviously win the home opener is important, but to get over the hump with, the, with what happened last year against Alberta? Uh, I definitely think it's, uh, it's great for us to kind of show that, yeah, we can we can beat these guys maybe split. Last year we beat them once and they beat us, so just, uh, and that home opener too is huge for us. So you kind of officially put last year in the past now for you? Yeah, for sure. I think that's that's over and done with. And then even coming into the game, we kind of just said, you know, that's that's done with already. we got to go and play this season. Um, the offense was dead in the third quarter. Um, how important do you think that 62-yard return was in terms of keeping last year's demons away from the team? Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't necessarily think the offense was dead. Um, sometimes we just, we just we, if we're struggling on one side of the ball, we got to come back and work that much harder on defense and special teams. And just you know, anything we can do to, to pitch in to, uh, to get the win. Very good. Good. Thanks, Luke. Good. Rest are out there.